Hey everyone, this is Jamie from Freakin' Fraggin' and we are doing a series on hitchhikers. Today we are talking about hydroids. Hydroids are tiny jellyfish-like creatures that can be introduced into a marine tank on almost anything. Don't be mad at yourself if you find these little guys in your tank. They are bound to get into it. It's just a matter of time and they prefer older mature tanks with low flow and lots of particulate, particulate food. So, if you notice them in your tank, do not broadcast feed. They can hitch a ride on rocks, algae, sand, crab, and snail shells, gravel, seawater, even live foods. So, there is no way to avoid them. A few things about hydroids. They can spread fast because they can reproduce asexually and sexually through fragmentation. Nothing that will eat hydroids, but... It's been reported that flying butterfly fish and urchins may eat these guys. Most hydroids live in marine environments. There are about 3,700 known species. They are very small predatory animals which can be solitary or colonial. They are simple in structure and they are actually um, related to jellyfish, corals, and sea anemones. Many have a complicated life cycle with a fixed plant-like asexual generation, and a free-swimming jellyfish-like sexual generation. Hydroids are carnivorous animals catching prey in the water column. Hydroids have two stages of life, the medusoid stage and the polypoid stage. These hydroids that I'm showing you are in the medusa stage. Stinging cells are found on tentacles and around the mouth, which are used to sting predators, because of the stinging cells, they can irritate fish and coral. They move by the muscle fibers that line the rim of the bell, sucking in and expelling the water to move. When you identify hydroids are living in your tank, it is important to keep an eye on them. If you're lucky, they will die off on their own, but other times they will infest your beloved tank. You can use a medication called fembendazole, but this may kill other living things in your tank, so it's important to read about this medication before using it. A more natural way to kill these or get rid of these from your tank is to remove all visible hydroids with a razor blade or by sucking them up with a turkey baster. Then to treat with pickling lime juice or Joe's juice. Best way is to cut off their food supply Hydroids consume copepods and other microcrustaceans. Cut back on your feeding and knock the population of pods down, and they will start to die off. With all that being said, it's always important to observe and properly acclimate anything being introduced into your tank. Be aware of where you are getting your marine specimens and supplies. It's always a good idea to dip your corals to remove any pests and use an isolation tank to observe before introducing to your display tank. Thanks for watching my segment on hitchhiking hydroids. I hope you have much success ratting these little buggers out of your reef tank. I always like to try the more natural way to remove any unwanted hitchhikers from my tanks, but sometimes that doesn't always work. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and please like, subscribe, and share. I would love to do more videos on marine hitchhikers because it is sometimes hard to, to identify what you are finding in your little underwater world. Much respect to you all and keep reefing. Bye! Um.